Hi again. Um, I hope you've seen my introductory video and um, what I'm going to go ahead and do tonight is read through the New Testament scriptures that have to do with the widow and the fatherless child to encourage orphans and uh, kids who have lost their parents with what the Bible has to say for them. So um, I hope this encourages you and I invite the Holy Spirit to do a wonderful work through the reading of his word tonight. All right, so first we're going to start with Mark. Um, I'm going to go ahead and read Mark chapter 12, verses 38 through 44. And it says, and he said unto them in his doctrine, this is Jesus, Beware of the scribes which love to go in long clothing and love salutations in the marketplaces and the chief seats in the synagogues and the uppermost rooms at feasts, which devour widows' houses and for pretense make long prayers. These shall receive greater damnation. And Jesus sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury and how many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow and she threw in two mites which make a farthing. And he called unto him his disciples and said unto them, Verily I say unto you that this poor widow hath cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance but she of her want did cast in all that she had even all her living and so beware of those people who might want to take your money um, and religion but at the same time know that Christ and God they're looking at your heart and uh, out of your want, if you're giving to the kingdom of God, definitely it doesn't go unnoticed. Um, so next I'm going to read Luke 2, 36 through 37. Just highlighting a few of the New Testament uh, scriptures about widows. And there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Aser. She was of a great age and had lived with an husband seven years from her virginity. And she was a widow of about fourscore and four years, which departed not from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And she coming in in that instant, and this is whenever uh, Joseph and Mary were coming to dedicate Christ when he was a newborn. In that instant she came in and gave thanks likewise unto the Lord, and spake of him to all them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem. And I wanted to comment on this one and say, it's amazing how she gave her all to God after she lost her husband, and so much so that God gave her the gift of prophecy and even let her see the Christ uh, in her old age. And she talked about how he would bring redemption to Jerusalem. So um, I think that's pretty awesome that he highlighted a widow person um, to do that. Um, so next we're going to go over to 1 Timothy. And we're going to read chapter 5, verses 4 through 9. Um, actually, I'm going to start at uh, verse 3. So... 1 Timothy 5, 3, and actually expanded it, sorry, um, 3 through 16, so that's what I'm going to read. Honor widows that are widows indeed, but if any widow have children or nephews, let them first, let them learn first to show piety at home and to requite their parents, for that is good and acceptable before God. Now she that is a widow indeed and desolate trusteth in God, and continueth in supplications and prayers night and day. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. And these things give in charge that they may be blameless. 
But if any provide not for his own, and specially for those of his own house, he hath denied the faith, and is worth, worse than an infidel. Let not a widow be taken into the number under threescore years old, sixty years, having been the wife of one man, well reported of for good works, if she have brought up children, if she have lodged strangers, if she